back in your neighborhood in Soulard, and this morning we are talking cupcakes. Yes. Divine. <laughs> yeah, I saw you looking over those. Did you pick out one you want yet? We'll get to that in a bit, but before that, <laughs> yeah. who are we here this morning? Uh, all right, we have Courtney McDonald. We also have Mike Pohl joining us and uh, talking about this food truck. And this all started actually with the owners with the Cupcake Wars. Yes, the owners won Cupcake Wars in 2011 with actually this one right here, the Drunken Pig. It's made with Newcastle beer, sharp cheddar cheese, and has a cheddar cream cheese frosting, and it's dipped in bacon. Mm. You, won, you won the challenge. Does this decal right here on your truck, where you find every month, does this help sales and the attention and the, the popularity you guys have? Yes. Um, we actually have a very good following in St. Louis, so when people see it, they're like, oh, yeah, you guys won Cupcake Wars. So we have a lot of fan favorites that come in because they love. Well, you just picked up a couple of new fans. Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about these? Go ahead and help you us out here. Help. Which ones do you yeah. like, too? Well, I'm going red velvet all the way. <laughs> you don't have to ask. Red velvet. This one's our fan favorite as well, the chocolate chip cookie dough. It's got cookie dough baked right inside, dipped in chocolate chips. This one is our pumpkin cheesecake, which is a seasonal favorite. It's oh, yeah. filled and frosted with cheesecake frosting, and then it has whipped cream with some graham cracker crust. And then we have um, sprinkles, which is your fan favorite of sprinkles with more sprinkles, red velvet, mm -hmm. and then snickerdoodle, which is topped with a snickerdoodle cookie to die for. Okay, now I want okay. that one, that one, and that one. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right. Every weekend to yeah, die for. Yeah, you do you more than cupcakes, though. You also do wedding cakes and many other things. And you have a brick and mortar store right here in Sular. Yes, we're a couple blocks from the farmer's market. So we actually specialize in wedding cakes and or, um, wedding orders and dessert tables and birthday cakes. So we do a lot of, we book up about three to four weeks in advance for these things. And our cake decorator is just awesome. How were you guys able to stay busy moving through the pandemic and not have people come into the bakery? Yeah, so we actually, we had to shut our doors down, of course, but um, we did, um, we had people come in and we just have fans. And yeah. so we just served them right out the bakery mm -hmm. and they loved getting their cupcake. They placed their pre-orders and they were ready when they came and got they went. All right, Mike, talk about the food truck, the rental, if people want to maybe hire you guys to come out to a party. Yeah, they just contact the Sweet Divine. Uh, we do private parties. We do... Uh, charity events, we do uh, river, um, concert on the rivers, all kinds of events that any event you want us to come, come to, <laughs> you just contact us and we will come. All right, very I'm good. Go, go ahead and move these out of the way. Oh, like uh, yeah, sure, you're going to take them off. <laughs> yeah. Let me just take this off your hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, Mike. Yeah, all right. All right. Thank you both for being with us. We appreciate it. It is The Sweet Divine. Check them out right here in Soulard or at a food truck. Blair and John. <laughs> Well, in South St. Louis, just off 55, there is the Lemp Mansion, built back in the 1860s or 70s with a history, a spooky history that dates all the way back. Why won't those people leave? Why do they haunt that place? You can visit it if you dare.